Hi, YouTube. Um, as you guys know, I'm 24 weeks, but I wasn't going to do my 24-week video right now because I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So, um, I'm just going to update you on the 24-week stuff tomorrow after my doctor's appointment and tell you how Jaden's doing and all that because I'll probably have a lot more um, pregnancy stuff to really discuss tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to do this video on teen pregnancy because I see a lot of other YouTube moms that I watch have done it and I've really wanted to do one, uh, but I haven't really had the time to sit down and, uh, you know, say what I wanted to say or um, whatever and answer questions I've been getting and I know I promised you guys I would do that but um, anyway so I'm going to do that now uh, I know I can't really discuss like being a teen mom necessarily because my child isn't physically here um, so my my emotional state and my my position is a lot different than some of the other girls because they have their child and you know of course it's, it's two completely different things but um, one thing we can all agree on is pregnancy and that's what I want to talk about because you know I can really tell you guys you know the effects of pregnancy on your life how it changes how it changes you and um, stuff like that uh, well Let's just say that being pregnant itself is hard in general for anybody. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what race you are. I don't care what religion you are. It doesn't matter. It is hard. It is not a simple thing. You get no breaks. Once you find out you are pregnant, you do not get a break until the day you die. If you want to be a good parent, that is. Because after the pregnancy, you have to raise your child, you have to take care of them, support them, everything. So you don't get any breaks. When you become a mother, you are a mother for life. And that's just how it is. And that's the things you give up in order to be a parent. And that's why people look at you like you're crazy when you get pregnant at such a young age because you, the girls that want to get pregnant and say, oh, I want a baby, it's so cute, blah, 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 whatever, are the girls that watch the shows, I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with 16 and pregnant or anything, they show you, like, the, the ups and downs, but, like, you know, the girls that watch the, the, the movies on TV with the beautiful, happy babies, and yeah, they cry, and yeah, they're messy, but they're still so wonderful and cute, but what the movies don't necessarily show you is that Pregnancy, to start off, okay, your body will never look the same after this. I don't care what anybody says, you can lose all the weight you want, your body will never look, the, it will never look the same to you. And if you're a person that takes pride in their appearance or, you know, has it, you know, that's, any girl, well, any girl, really, they take pride in their appearance and they want their body to be the way they want it. It's never going to be like that. Again, say goodbye to your perky boobs. Sorry, guys, if you're watching this. Say goodbye to all of that. that that's gone. Out the window. Whether you breastfeed or not. Sorry to let you know. Um, your hips are, will never be in the same position again. Your legs will never look the same again. Your butt will never look the same again. Nothing will ever look the same again. Ever in your life. So, you might as well just wave that train goodbye because it's gone um your mindset completely different the way I look at things and situations is not the way a normal 16 year old would look at them because I have to look at them like okay what's best for me physically what's best for me emotionally what's best for me financially and what's best for my son other 16 year old girls can say what outfit am I gonna wear what makeup am I going to do? How am I going to do my hair? Oh my gosh. You know, you just have so much interest. You know, you, you, don't, you don't have a care in the world. You know, I wish my biggest problem was not being able to have the right color shirt to wear to the party to match my friends versus how am I going to pay for diapers, formula, rent, or whatever. I'd love to have the shirt problem. So girls with the shirt problem, stick to the shirt problem. 
you just like, and I, I hate it because I hear girls talk about, you know, how cute it is and how wonderful and, you know, these girls that want to be pregnant, they have no clue. Like, if I wouldn't, I swear to God, the stuff you, and I mean, I know people know it's hard because it's, it's common knowledge to know that it's hard. And I mean, you can really educate yourself and know that, wow, this is something I don't want to do. It's really hard. But there is nothing in the world like actually being there. I am telling you, and I was the same way. When I first found out I was pregnant, there is, I, I was like, well, I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but you know, I have to do it. I have to do it. No one tells you how hard it is, and you will not know exactly how hard it is until you are sitting there wondering, oh my God, like this is ridiculous. Like you have so much to do. Like, I can't even take my ACT test before December in order to send off my college applications, like, with all that stuff, because I'm going to be pregnant. Like, I can't even get my school and college information done right because I'm going to be pregnant. I can't take a test. I can't go and sit there and take a four-hour test being, like, 30-something weeks pregnant. It's just not going to happen. I can't. You know, like, I can't go to the, I mean, I could go to the football games that we have because we have a really good football team where I'm from. And we have a really popular football team. And the football games are a lot of fun. There's no point in me going. What am I going to do? Walk around my big pregnant belly and do what? Flirt with guys? Guys don't want to flirt with you. Guys don't want anything to do with you. What are you going to talk? I mean, you might have a few friends and everything, but you lose a lot of friends when you're pregnant. Who are you going to talk to? The 16-year-old girl with the shirt problem, she's not going to have anything to say to you. What do you guys have in common? You don't have anything in common anymore. She wants to worry about her shirt problem and the clothes she's wearing and the boys she's dating and the guy she, and, you know, the friends she doesn't like and the, all this stuff that girls normally worry about and talk about and have fun with that you are no longer associated in because guess what? You have a baby, so you don't qualify to talk about any of that stuff anymore because that's not you. That's just not who you are. So the people that you will hang out with are probably your family, other girls in your situation, girls with kids already, or older people that are, like, family-oriented, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, you will have very few friends that you can actually go and hang out and go places with and do a lot of things with that don't have a child because they don't you don't have time number one and number two you can't necessarily do the things that they want to do because you have a baby um now yes a lot of that does change when you have the baby because then again you're no longer carrying it with you in a permanent state like it's not attached. <laughs> it's more like, okay, well, can you babysit? And I want to go out with my friends. That gets a little bit easier, and your social life does open up a slight bit when you have a baby. I've noticed that, which is something to look forward to um, if you really are a social person. But, again, it will never be the same. You will never have the time to do what you wanted to do before, after you have the baby, because... Now the times that you actually do get to go out and have your social freedom like you kind of did before you got pregnant, um, you really will be very few and far between. You There's just not a lot of opportunities like that because you have a bigger responsibility to handle. But there are those times where you do get to go and enjoy that. But while you're pregnant, you really don't get to enjoy much of anything. Um, I think my biggest joy and excitement that I have in my life is going baby shopping. I love baby shopping. <laughs> That's about the biggest excitement and out of the house thing that I do. Um, besides school. And school for me is boring. I go to all my classes. I don't associate with anybody really. I don't talk to anybody. I don't do this. I don't do that. I go to school to go to school. And what you should be doing but, um, you know, going especially your senior year. Your senior year is fun. It's full of all kinds of different things to do and different, um, what's the word I'm looking at, privileges for seniors. And um, I don't get to enjoy that. I skipped up a whole year to go to my senior year, and I can't even enjoy it like I would want to. But that is a sacrifice I have to make. And I don't regret making that sacrifice, but it, it is a sacrifice nonetheless.
and it's not, I'm not trying to tell, I'm not trying to say that, like I said, I'm not trying to say I regret making those decisions, but it's just like, it could have been avoided, and this isn't about, this is about me, but it's not necessarily downing me or my situation, it's just to show you other people, girls, that, um, you know what it is, like the reality of it. So that's just pregnancy in a nutshell. Um, a lot of people talk about relationships and having a child. I don't know what it's I don't know what it's like to uh, be in a relationship with someone that's not the father of my child because I am in the relationship with the person that's the father of my child, and that's hard enough as it is. Um, your relationship completely changes when you have a kid because the 40 billion things that you had to worry about being with a person that you're already in a serious relationship with and I will say this um, if you are not in a serious relationship with somebody and you are considering getting pregnant you're you're a complete idiot I will tell you that right now I don't care what your excuse is I don't care if he just bought you a Mercedes and a brand new house if you have been dating for three months and you want to get pregnant by him you are an absolute idiot three months four months a year is not even enough to want to be having kids with somebody not even enough so um please don't try to think that the guy that's telling you he loves you at four months is going to be the greatest father in the world because the chances of that happening are slim to none now I understand that there are accidents, like there's things that happen, like say you guys have been dating for three or four months and it just kind of happened, that's one thing. Now I will tell you your odds are against you on your relationship working out because you really need a chance to get to know somebody and it just puts a lot more stress because at the time you're trying to get to know each other, you're also having to raise a kid. So it puts a lot of stress on the relationship so it makes it a lot harder. When you really truly know somebody, it makes it a lot easier. That's why people tell you to wait till you get married to have kids. Because that way you're in a committed relationship with someone you know that's with you and loves you and you know that person and you have that solid bond. That's why they tell you to wait till marriage. It's not just a society thing. Even though it is and it was for a long time. But that, that's pretty much the basic reason why. Um, so yeah. Uh... If you're planning, like I said, planning to get pregnant with someone you barely know, you're an idiot. Um, I, like I said, I understand accidents happen. Those are out of your control. You're not an idiot for having an accident happen. You're, you're kind of in a, in a mess. <laughs> but it's a uh, something you got to deal with. Um, for me, I was lucky enough to be in a relationship with the guy for, well, I mean, we've been together still since I've been pregnant. I'm six months pregnant, and we've been together for about two years. Our anniversary is in a month. Um, so we've been together for a good about a, a good amount of time, and we've been through a lot of real world problems that couples sh go through, and so we've had that stretch on our relationship and pressure. So that makes it a little bit easier, but um, nothing is guaranteed, especially at this age, and that's why people tell you, because nothing is guaranteed. Guys are not guaranteed. Your relationships are not guaranteed. Success is not guaranteed. It's something you have to earn and you have to work for. And um, relationships are one of those things that either they work out or they don't work out, but you do have to put your effort into them. Um, of course, and that's something that you and your other person have to work out on their own, but a lot of guys don't stick around or they feel the pressure and they leave, and I'm not saying all guys do that, but a lot of guys do. There are a select few that are good dads and do take care of the responsibility. But um, this video is going to cut off, so I'm going to do a part two to this, so I will see you guys in part two.